Well, Luna, as you approach your day 50, or I guess your day 50 would have been yesterday, today is my day number two. Day number two of recovery, done. So Luna, um, you've recently put out a video that you asked us to send in you videos of uh, what we're grateful for, three things that we're grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for my three things, but the three things that I'm grateful for I probably wouldn't have been as grateful for had I not had the one main thing that I'm grateful for. That will make sense once I explain it. Um, so the main thing that I'm grateful for right now is you, Luna. Um, had you not shared your journey and shared your breakdown, first of all, and gone to the doctor and then proceeded to tell us what was going on in your life and share all of that with us, I probably wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten the help that I needed. I wouldn't have gone, I don't think. Like, I wouldn't have felt strong enough to go, I guess. Um, so yeah, Luna, thank you for sharing your journey with us and getting the help that you needed. Because if you hadn't done that, I think a lot of us would probably be in a, I think a lot of us probably wouldn't have gotten the help either. Um, so on top of that, the three things that I'm grateful for in my own little life are my doctor, for one thing, for listening to my problems and writing me my prescriptions and sending me to the blood clinic to get my blood work done and letting me cry in his office and encouraging me for count to get counseling and making sure I come back in a couple of weeks to go see him again. Um, yeah, so thank you to him, I guess. Um, I'm thankful for my dogs, <laughs> which may sound weird, you know, my dogs, my pets, my babies. Um, I'm grateful for them because this past summer, uh, well, summer here, winter for Australia, um, so the past summer for me, my dogs have been like extremely cuddly with me and I think they knew like something was wrong. I've had a couple of different breakdowns over the summer, um, so my dogs have definitely been something keeping me happy me going and I'm grateful for my mama well I'm grateful for everyone in my family my dad my sister the rest of my family I love them I love them all but I'm specifically grateful for my mama right now because she's the one that was with me at 3 a.m. in the morning when I had a breakdown and she's the one that realized like I needed to go to a doctor I needed to get help um, and so she's actually the one that called the doctors and made my appointment for me she went to my appointment with me waited for me, took me to the blood clinic when I had to go get my blood work done, took me out for breakfast after I got my blood work done. She's been listening to my problems, and so I'm thankful for her because um, without my mom realizing something there was wrong, I wouldn't have gone to the doctor at all because I wouldn't have had the person there to support me um, through it at the time. So just thank you so, so much, Luna. I don't think you really understand like how amazing what you've been doing is and how strong that is and brave of you that is because um, I don't think I don't think anyone's really done this something so bold when it comes to this you share like the good and the bad of it and that's really important you don't just talk about how you got over your anxiety or panic attacks and you were able to do it you say like that you couldn't do it, that sometimes you have your bad days and that you cry and that you wake up at night or that you don't fall asleep at night. And that means a lot. And I'm really happy that you're getting a cat and hopefully your cat will be cuddly and help you through it just like my dogs were with me. Um, so yeah, thank you, Luna.